Ang ating pong unang handog, Kawelo Alcos versus Alvin Tayo in the light flyweight category. 108 pounds is our limit for that weight division. As we're expecting great things coming from these youngsters, susubukan nila kung sino ang aabante who will march closer to fulfilling their dream of having a good boxing career. Let's hand it over to our ring announcer, Audrey Goriseta. And now, ladies and gentlemen, for our next battle for this boxing event, making his way inside the ring, all the way from Ilog Negros Occidental, Alvin Tayo! Alvin Tayo, two wins, seven losses, and a draw. But both of his wins coming via knockout, Susubukan niya ang kalidad ni Kawelo Alcos. And itong si Kawelo Alcos. And now, ladies and gentlemen, making his way inside the ring from Kalakala Boxing Gym of Molokai, Hawaii. Here is the chief, Kawelo Alcos. Alcos, meanwhile, has a record of two wins. Wala pang talo, walang draw. Malinis pa ang kartada. One of his wins coming via the short route. He is a Filipino-American, currently living in Honolulu, Hawaii. So, malaki ring pagkakataon para sa kanya to be able to fight here in the Philippines. And of course, it's an Elorde fight card, so you know it's top class. Creating quite the buzz. Ito si Kawelo Alcos. Abang tinitik natin tayo ng tape. Alcos younger by four years as compared to Alvin Tayo. Nampakit ko ay record kaya na weight even three inch height advantage on the part of Alvin Tayo. And sabi nga natin, medyo maraming interesado rito kay Kawelo Alcos after learning ng Filipino American ito ng bata ng ito. Ladies and gentlemen, coming to you live from the Flash Grand Ballroom El Norte Sports Center, Sukat Paranaque City. Today, ESPN5, in association with El Norte International Production, is proud to present our next battle for this boxing event. This bout is brought to you in cooperation with PACOR. The three judges at ringside, Danilo Lopez, Greg Ortega and Carlos Costa. And inside the ring, in charge of the action, referee Gerald Tomeldan. And now, ladies and gentlemen, six rounds of professional boxing in the minimum weight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing green trunks, official weight 108 pounds, professional record. Two victories, all wins coming by way of knockout with seven defeats and one bout even. Fighting out of Ilog Negros Occidental, here is Alvin Tayo! And now introducing his opponent across the ring, fighting out of the red corner, wearing white trunks, official weight 108 pounds, professional record Two victories, including one win, coming by way of knockout with no defeats. Fighting out of Kalakawa Boxing Gym of Molokai, Hawaii, here is the Chief Kawelo Alcos! Okay, Alvin Kawelo, this is for six round bout. Obey my command at all time, protect yourself at all time. All right, good luck, touch love. Kawelo Alcos contra kay Alvin Tayo to open our fight card live on ESPN5. Carlo Pabintuan oh, alongside Dennis Principe. As you said, there is a lot of buzz surrounding Alcos. Let's see if pwede siyang magpakita in his first televised fight here in the Philippines. Awkward yung forma ni Alcos. Masyadong... Uh 
nakaungo si mga kamay as if uh, may hawak na machete. Itong si Tayo won his first professional fight via knockout. Pero nabawian din siya nung kanyang tinalo where the decision in their rematch is currently on a bad spot in his career. Limang sunod-sunod na talo ang kinukuha nito. Pero nakikita natin yung Alcos, may bilis talaga yung kamay. Mm -hmm. Yung maganda rin yung mga patama, partner. Ha? Although open siya sa uppercut and uh, probably a counter blow. So we'll see kung uh, makikita yun ni Alvin Tayo. Yung bentahe ni Alvin Tayo, his reach, his height. Napakatakat for a light flyweight itong buksingerong to. Which could cause as a problem for Alcos. And partner, tinamaan ni Tayo si Alcos. And uh, right to the jaw, nakapatigil doon si Alcos. Because if you are Tayo, you're just watering at the mouth at this opportunity to be able to score a win against Alcos. Kasi nga, pinag-uusapan eh. If you can pick up a win against him, and that might just give him the second win that he needs in his career. Especially for someone who's coming off a losing streak. A win like this, you know? Against someone like uh, Kawelo Alcos, kahit pa paano, yung stigma of those losses, mababawasan. Alcos had over 50 victories as an amateur. Hopes to be the second coming ng isa ring Filipino-Hawaiian kasi Brian Viloria. The Hawaiian punch. Brian Viloria. Actually, original Hawaiian punch is Jesus Salud. So, tignan natin kung... Uh, Deserving ba no, na maging uh, next Phil Hawaiian star itong si uh, Kawelo Alcos. So far, so good for Alcos. Kahit na tinatamaan din siya ng malulutong na suntok mula kay Tayo, he has hit more and he has hit better here in the first round. Maganda yung darting in and out ng Alcos. And as at the belt, he was still able to land a good right hand. That is the end of round number one. Hello, <laughs> Check us out. Seeing some of the action in round number one, Al Kos pouring it on early. Check us out. Tinamaan din siya ng malilinis sa suntok mula kay Tayo using his superior height and reach to hit clean. Muli po, Carlo Pamintuan at Dennis Principe nagpapasalamat sa inyong patuloy na pagsubaybay. This is ESPN5 Boxing. Dennis, kanino mo pinigay ang first round? Well, sa akin kay uh, Kawelo Alcos because... Sa start pa lang, marami niya siyang mga pinitaw at no? mga patama. Although nakita nga natin yun yung sa slow-mo replay, tinamahan ni Tayo, si Alcos. But I think uh, that was not enough para masabi natin na may bigay sa kanya yung uh, round. Maganda bumitaw ng kombinasyon itong si Kawelo Alcos. 1-2-3 lagi. At alam din niya paano suklian yung atake nitong si Tayo. Oo. Pero ang problema, partner, yung mga patama ni... Alcos, parang wala pa rin masyadong diin because nanggagaling sa labas. Kaya if you notice, kahit na binobomba ni Alcos si Alvin Tayo, tuloy lang yung pagpasok ni Alvin Tayo. And that's the best thing to do actually against a fighter like Alcos na nanggagaling sa labas susuntok. Pasukin mo lang. Go straight to him. And then, dun ka dapat bumitaw ng suntok. Yun ang kulang dito kay Alvin Tayo. 
Alcos has been boxing since he was seven years old. Napakabata ng kumpusa nito. Now playing his trade as a professional. Alvin Tayo, stalking itong si Cawelo Alcos. Parang nagugulat itong si Cawelo Alcos. How come na tinatamaan kita pero lapit ka pa rin ng lapit? So good left hand landed by Tayo. Pero maganda rin yung bobbing, weaving. Ang Cawelo Alcos to stay out of trouble. You know, tingin ko ah, there's a bit of concern na nararamdaman si Cawelo Alcos because hindi niya nakikita ng any signs of having this fear or feeling the punches of Alcos. Itong si Alvin Tayo. Walang respeto sa kanya eh. Walang respeto sa lakas ni Alcos, si Alvin Tayo. Maybe he feels that he has gone up against stronger punchers throughout his young career. Tignan mo yung facial expressions nila, partner, no? Ganda sa katawan. Ganda mga patama yun. Alvin Tayo showing that he's not bothered, at least not yet here in round number two. Ten seconds, guys. Final ten seconds of what has been a very entertaining round number two. Cawelo Alcos is in for a fight. Kahit na nakakapagpatama siya ng malilinis, eh maganda rin yung nagaganti ni Tayo sa kanya. Second round. Second round. Kanino mo ibinigay, Dennis? Well, I gave it kay Cawelo Alcos because, again, mas accurate siya magpatama kumpara mo kay Tayo. If I'm the one in the corner of Alcos, Medyo matatakot din ako rito kay Tayo dahil katulad niya, ginagawa niya. He's been on the receiving end for the most part of the first two rounds but he keeps on moving forward. This time, he's moving forward and at the same time, throwing punches. Yun na nga kulang kay Alvin Tayo. Pasukod si Alvin Tayo here in round number three. Kaya sabihin siya na kanya corner at takihin mo sa katawan. Ito si Cawelo Alcos. Alcos being tested here by the veteran. Will he sink? Will he swim? Bagong ito, partner. If you look at the facial expressions of both fighters, si Alcos parang... Ano ba ito? Nasasaktan ko ba ito? On the part of Alvin Tayo. Okay. Pasok lang ako. Nabasa na niya eh. Komportable si Alcos sa distansya. He likes throwing punches when he has distance. Doon siya nagbibitaw ng mga 3-4 punch combinations. Kaya yung adjustment ni Tayo, huwag mong bigyan ng espasyo. Digitan mo. Suntokin mo sa katawan. And yun na nga ginagawa ni Alvin Tayo. He's making this a phone booth. About a brawl from within. Talaga namang nakakaguha ng punto si Alvin Tayo. Action slowing down a little bit with a minute remaining in round number three. Again, this is Night of Champions 17. Representation ng Elorde International Promotions and ESPN 5 Boxing. Alvin Tayo. Nahuli sa corner si Alcos. 
Abuelo Alcos has got his work cut out for him. This fight. Oh! Good attack coming from Alvin Tayo. Alcos trying to hang on. Alcos on the ropes, but he's fighting back. He was able to punch out. Kayo naman, sang atake. Final 10 seconds of round number three. A huge one for Alvin Tayo. Life so far, he is testing the metal of this young Second fighter out. from Hawaii. Oh, yeah, hey. no? He's supposed to be parang ano lang, eh, no? Welcome party nitong si Coelho uh, Alcos. At the uh, victim is supposed to be to si Alvin Tayo, but it is turning out that Alcos. This is a litmus, litmus test uh, for him. Dennis, si Tayo yung matangkad, siya yung umaatake. So if you are the smaller fighter on the back foot, ano yung pinakamaganda mga adjustment? Well, eto ang si uh, Tayo pasok ng pasok. Ano? Kanina pa yan, consistent siya sa first round. Dapat around this time, batuhan niya na sa katawan. Because he's head hunting ever since, ano? The start of his fight. Kaya naman itong si Alvin Tayo, alam niya that he can take the punches and he can avoid actually a good number of them. Yung mga sutok ni Alcos, kaya tuloy lang sa pagpasok si Alvin Tayo. Nawala sa position si Alvin Tayo. With a minute gone by in round number four, Tayo staying aggressive, staying busy, staying in front. Of Coelho Alcos here in round number four. Not a good sign for me. Yung uh, pag backpedal ni uh, Alcos. Not that nasaktan siya or what, but uh, parang nagulat siya, you know? Perhaps this is not the type of fight na inexpect niya. At ngayon, puwersado siya na maging counter puncher. Dahil aggressor itong si Tayo, which might not be his training to begin with. Yes. Mukang hindi comfortable to si Alcos to counter punch. Kasi kanina sa first round, he was so aggressive. Mm -hmm. Pasok ng pasok. He won that first round clearly. And then napansin niya, bakit itong Tayo? Sige pa rin ang uh, paghabol sa akin. And Alcos using the ring to his advantage. Iniiwasan muna yung lakas ni Alvin Tayo staying out of trouble. Pero yung tanong dito, paano ka hahanap ng opensa when you are on the back foot? Yes. Okay. Yep, that was a headbutt mula kay Alvin Tayo. And okay? there's a warning from the referee. Time, time. Wrong na po tapan. Sa labi, itong si Alcos. Adding another wrinkle, another challenge to what has been already a tough fight for him thus far. Look, accidental headbutt. Okay. Stay there, stay, stay there. Ringside position Alvin. checking. And ready. allowing. I box. I'll post to continue. Alvin Tayo. Nagkahanap lang ng isang malinis na suntok para masaktan si Alcos. Well, actually, for me, all he needs is to win this round. 
Para kis makatabla. Still moving forward. Isa lang ang alam na direksyon. He can't stop. Hindi pwedeng kumigil sa pagboxing. Kahit na naramdaman niya that there was another headbutt. And that will end round number four. Night of Champion 17, Carlo Pomintuan kasama si Dennis Principe. You scored the first two rounds for Alcos. How about the next two, Dennis? Well, yung third round, I gave it to uh, Alvin Tayo. Yung fourth, I was about to give that uh, kay Alvin Tayo. Pero Alcos, while backpedaling, nakapatama siya ng ilang mga meaningful shots. Ano? So I, I thought that uh, that round, it's crucial, ano, uh, sa lapa na ito. Because, oh, oh, oh. Headbutt. And then he was asked to headbutt stop. Pero tumuloy pa rin sa pagsuntok itong si Alvin Tayo. There could be a deduction time, time. here, ha? Alvin, second time, ulo, dito. Ha. Okay, yung extra punch, ha, hindi nabanggit doon uh, ni uh, referee. Second stern so warning, so the third one surely will be a point deduction yes. contra kay Tayo. Alvin Tayo patuloy pa rin sa pag-atake. Alcos looking for ways to connect and stay out of trouble. Nakaka-connect naman si Alcos, partner, ano? Ayun, katulad doon, three-punch combo. Yep. He's learned how to counter-punch. And punch. Oh, while backing good up. punch coming from Alcos. Had Tayo in trouble there. Mukhang kumalma ng konti itong si Alcos. Yes. Break, stop, break. In the third round, it almost looked like he was in a bit of panic mode. Mm -hmm. Pero ngayon, going back to his boxing, going back to his roots, his amateur skills. Pero tinamaan siya ng malakas doon. Well, Alcos probably realized na wala na siya magagawa kundi to do something para makuha niya, no? yung, uh, ma-maintain niya yung whatever gains ang nakuha niya sa first two rounds. Because ayun na nga, no? it is a given that Tayo is a very determined boxer. So dapat sabayan niya. At so, tanong dito para kay Tayo, kaya ba niyang isustain itong ganitong klase ng pag-atake? For a minute here in round number five and round number six. Sa nakikita ko, partner, parang kaya ni Tayo yung uh, suntok, ano, yung diin ni Alcos. It's just that matatalo siya sa volume ng mga suntok. Katulad doon, three, four, punch combination. Right, stop, stop, stop. Kahit pa paano, doon bumili ba ko sa ginawang adjustment ni Kawelo Alcos, ano? Sabi mo nga, he was uh, in a bit of panic mode sa round number three. Pero ngayon, kita mo, another combination. Kung Kawelo Alcos is able to make the necessary adjustment. Nandun ka rin si Alvin Tayo, pumapasok pa rin. But at least right now, Kawelo Alcos, nakakasabay siya dito kay uh, Alvin Tayo. Alvin Tayo stalking Alcos, staying out of trouble, thinking that he did enough to win this round. As Alcos lands a combination. You know what? He's going attack. Good fifth round performance coming from both fighters, actually. Fourth round, fifth round, very difficult to score, Dennis. Yes. But this round, partner, I, I thought na maraming mga patama si uh, Kawelo Alcos and uh, proof of that 
is meron tayong nakitang uh, cut dun sa left eye ni Alvin Tayo. And tingin ko it came from a punch. Makikita mo eh, no? Pinipressure ni Tayo si uh, Cawelo Alcos. Pero this time, yung last two rounds, starting in the middle of uh, the fourth round, nakagawa na ng uh, proper adjustment si Cawelo Alcos. Second out! Second round. Sixth and final round. Alvin Tayo looking for the biggest victory of his entire career. Contra kay Cawelo Alcos, a Filipino Hawaiian from Honolulu. And the, if I have it correctly, you have. Alcos up 4-1 to one in your scorecard. Yes. Because yung uh, last two rounds, ano, I felt na uh, nakagawa ng uh, effective counter-punching si Cawelo Alcos. So ngayon, itong si Alvin Tayo must go for broke here in the sixth and final round. Try to score a knockout against Alcos. Ayun, oh, sumusunto pa rin part na si Cawelo Alcos. And look at those blows. Don't just disregard, you know, the effort ni Cabello Alcos. Kanina kasi pag sumusugod si Tayo, tumitigil si Alcos. Oh, ayan oh. Tatlo, apat, coming from him. Another combination. Ang dami ng patama rito ni Cabello Alcos. Good body punches from Alcos scoring in this round. Wala pong bilang yung takedown. As there is a lot of blood. Dun sa mata nitong si Alvin Tayo. And again, partner, saludo tayo sa matchmaker of this fight. Kala nyo, dahil two wins, seven losses, walang ibubuga. <laughs> Ay ngayon, talagang pinapahirapan niya si Cabello Alcos. sa akin, unofficially, 5-1 in favor, or 4-1 rather, in favor of Cabello Alcos, pero two of those four rounds talagang trinabaho at hindi naging madali for Cabello Alcos to win those rounds. May ininda na naman na headbutt itong si Alcos. Referee saying fine nice. on. Good straight from Cabello Alcos. You know, yun ang problema pagka maingay yung Crowd in favor of one fighter, <laughs> yung suntok ng isa, hindi mo napapansin. Napakaraming you know daw napansin, Alvin Tayo. Kanan, kaluwa. From Alcos, another left from Cawelo Alcos, and a combination. Ito mong pinatama ni Alcos, mga lima. Mm -hmm. Nung tumama si Tayo ng dalawa, parang walo yung tumama. Sa ingay ng crowd. Last round, last round. Nanggugulang na itong si Alvin Tayo with headbutts, rabbit punches. But Alcos looks like he will survive this matchup. It was tough for him, by no means easy. But it looks like he will be able to retain his undefeated record. I would like to think so, partner. Actually, sa akin, one round nga lang yung pinanalo ni Alvin Tayo. I won't be surprised kung makadalawa pa siya. Three. That would mean a draw. May keys din eh, no? Parang Medyo meron pwede din. Rin. Meron din. Pwede rin. Pwede rin. But in the end, you saw the adjustments coming from the corner. Itong si Cawelo Alcos, they were able to weather that early storm mula kay Alvin Tayo and then go back to their roots, to yes. their boxing. Sa ganda ng patama yung kanilang kombinasyon to win some of the final rounds of this matchup. And may piesa itong batang to. There is a bright future ahead of him. Kailangan lang ng konti pang oras. Yes. Uh, Pag the harness uh, ng kanyang skill. Matapang yung bata. Uh, because uh, I thought middle of this fight parang uh, medyo pa pabigay na rin si Cawelo Alcos. You can see yung kanyang facial expression na parang uh, he's been put in a situation na this is not what I, I was expecting. 
Ang gantong ang klaseng laban. Hindi siya komportable kanina eh. No? Oh. Ramdam na ramdam niya. And no surprised with what Alvin Tayo provided in this matchup. The way I observed it, partner, ano, very impressive yung ginawang adjustment ni Kawelo Alcos. Supposedly, mga gantong laban, ang adjustment mangyayari after the fight and then on to the next fight. Pero yung kanya, it was a major adjustment from the first half of the fight going into the second half of this bout. Rodrigo Riseta has our official decision. After six rounds of boxing, we go to the scorecards. Danilo Lopez scores about 57-57. Greg Ortega has it 57-57. And Carlos Costa scores about 57-57. We have a unanimous draw. So we were not wrong. Itong si Kawelo Alcos retained his undefeated record, but it ended up as a draw. As you said, Dennis, there were two rounds, particularly na malapit talaga yung scoring and it yes. looked like yung activity nitong si Alvin Tayo was able to convince two of our all of our judges actually to score those close rounds his way. Yun lang, particularly yung uh, fourth and the fifth round, I think uh, yun yung malamang nakuha ni uh, Alvin Tayo uh, to settle for a draw.